Peanut butter banana. Peanut butter bacon too. Maybe some banana. This is my favorite sandwich, yo. No, how does that wait? This is my favorite sandwich. This is my favorite sandwich then. Maybe it'll be yours too. Does it sound like Elvis at all? Yeah. While he was alive, his favorite sandwich was peanut butter, bacon, and banana. We can only be talking about one person. The King, Elvis Presley. Uh, yes, that was me channeling my best Elvis Presley, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna know something crazy? Boys. I was in Winnipeg, Canada in August of 1977 when Elvis died. I heard it on the radio. In a car with David Asper. Why are you in Winnipeg? I went to visit David Asper. He was a high school friend. I graduated in 1977. Oh, David Asper. Most of you don't even know what 1977 was. Well, I'll tell you. It was a very good year. I graduated and you were merely a gleam in your parents' eyes. Most of you. Some of you were around to know that fateful day. If you remember where you were when Elvis died, let us know in the comments. I know where I was when uh, Princess Diana died. Anybody? No. no. Yeah, is everybody too freaking young? Damn it. Oh, I was alive. How about this? Do you remember where you were when uh, Charlie Watts died? Uh, who's Charlie Watts? Drummer of the Rolling Stones, and that uh, happened today. today. Yeah. So, how, you guys don't know the Stones. What am I doing you here? Said Mick Jagger. What? I didn't say. <laughs> There's only four of them. Max goes, well, if you said Mick Jagger, there's only four of them. By the way. 25% of the Rolling Stones. By the way, there is yes. a Stone show in LA in October. Maybe we should take mom. Oh my God, really? Here's the plan for today. We get some bacon in the oven. It's going to be good. We make our own PB. Yes. And instead of just slicing bananas and putting them in, we're making banana fritters. Never made them. I think it should work. Never made them. I hope it should work. Never made them. I hope and pray they will work. Because I've always got bananas if I F it up. And then we put everything together and then we're eating larger, we're going home. Good, boys? Yeah. Oh, good. Let's, uh, let's get some bacon happening. You may have seen this before. It's the most excellent way of cooking bacon. And I know what you're thinking. Flour, Sam? You may have seen this before on our channel, you could say. You may have seen this before right here. Uh, and it's an excellent way of cooking bacon. I know you're wondering, what the hell are you doing with flour? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to season this. Kosher, salt, pepper, and some cayenne. Or as they say in Canada... Well, I guess they call it cayenne there, too. They could possibly call it cayenne. God knows what my Canadian family does. So now we just do this. Mix it in, mix it in. Push it to the side. Now I take a half a pound of bacon or whatever this is, 12 ounces. I'm going to go like this. Cut it this way. And then I'll take some bacon out. Bring this rack up here, my favorite way to cook bacon. And then I take a piece of the bacon and I go like this. Gentle, gentle. Both sides. And what you're gonna see, ladies and gentlemen, after this cooks, is the most perfect, evenly cooked, crispy, beautiful bacon ever. Not greasy, just outstanding. And I bought sort of extra thick bacon here, cause, cause why not? You wanna just shake off the excess. Don't need the excess. Everybody gets this, right? Beautiful. My oven is on to 400 degrees. Or as Max would say when he was a little kid, the glees, the glees. Perfect, beautiful, uno mas. And as Elvis would say, just one more. And this goes in the oven at uh, 400 till it's beautiful. Oh, about a half an hour. Homemade peanut butter, one of the greatest, easiest things you could ever do. We start with a processor, two cups of dry roasted peanuts. Whether they're salted, lightly salted or unsalted, doesn't matter. We can adjust that no matter what. On goes the lid and we process. We've done this before, I've talked about this before. It requires a solid couple minutes of processing. And depending on the strength and the hardiness of your processor, you might want to give it a break because it'll start to get hot. The motor will start to get hot. You know what peanut butter looks like. So whether you stop once or 12 times, doesn't matter. When it gets there, you're gonna know. And then we take it from there. So this has been about, uh, I don't know, 35 seconds or so. And you can see it's starting to squeeze together a bit. It's certainly not peanut butter yet. Oh, don't you worry, it's coming. You can even hear it starting to change the sound. Another look. Now it's not only sticking together better, but you're starting to see just a bit of a sheen on this. The oils are starting to come out. Carry on. 
Oh, the smell. Now you really start to get the benefit of it starting to turn into something and you can see. It's peanut butter like, but it's not there yet. So we continue. This time though, as it's processed, I'm gonna give it a little salt and a little bit of honey for a tiny bit of sweetness. It's been two full minutes. Does it look like peanut butter? Wow, yes. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's not there yet. Who's in charge of the processor? Me or you? Thank you. Oh my God. They're making peanut butter, just like that. Honey, get out here and look. They're making peanut butter on that show. Yeah, we are. A little bit more. Now, that looks like peanut butter. And if you wanted it a little bit smoother, you could give it a little tiny hit of oil, maybe a teaspoon or so at a time till you get there, or you can let it do its thing. But, oh God, I said that. That's Sorry. the new drinking game. Oh my God. Can I taste this, please? Max complains that I say, referring to all kinds of things in different stages of cooking or prepping or whatever. Let it do its thing. And I know what I mean by that, and I believe you know what I mean by that. Max says he cuts them out all the time because there's far too many of them. Well, let's give him something new to cut up. Thank you, Max. Mm. By the way, almonds, same process. Cashews? Cashews, same process. Filberts? What That's do you so think? funny, I was just gonna say Filberts for some reason. Is. I think a Filbert's a big ass giant nut. It's a nut. Yeah. It's an, oh, it's a nut for sure, but <laughs> I feel like it's a big one. Macadamia? Macadamia nut, peanut butter. Macadamia peanut butter, macadamia nut, macadamia nut, macadamia. What is this, macadamia or macadamia? It's macadamia. It's macadamia? Yeah. So. Doesn't that sound wrong? Right. Macadamia. No, that's... That's macadamia. Okay, bacon's in the oven. We've made peanut butter. Now we move on to oh, my experiment, the <laughs> crispy banana fritter things. Mm. This is a bowl and those are bananas. Could anybody here tell me what brand bananas these are? Chiquita. Oh, sorry, they're Dole. It was funny, for some reason I thought Dole was the thing. I guess, never mind. All right, here's what we want to do. We want to put our bananas in our bowl. They're a little brown, but guess what? That's okay. We don't give an S about that. Do you know why? Because they're getting all beat up and mixed with other junk and it's gonna be fine. Flatten these guys a bit. Okay, here we go. Couple other things to add. We're gonna add one oof, that would be egg in French. A little salt and pepper. About a uh, quarter of a cup of flour, mm. plus two tablespoons, whatever that is. And then for a little, ah, I can't even get it open. Oh my God. Stand by, cut this out, please. I can't have people thinking Your I'm- weakness? Can't have people thinking I'm not able to open a jar. And about a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then this just gets mixed. Beat the egg, just start incorporating in, in, in. Just let me know when you think it's time to go to my hands, Max. <laughs> you can do it. Even if it's gonna be extra disgusting with a f***ing banana. Uh, no, I actually don't need to. I had no need to. I just wanted to see if I could wind you up a bit. You know that expression? Yes. It's a British expression. Is it? It means you make you crazy. So the experiment part for me comes because I want these guys crispy. So what we're gonna do, you okay? What's the matter, Max? What's the matter? Go get your friend out of here. Where is he? Is he another is one? He's up there. Do you know? Do you need me to get him? I'll get him if you want me to. I just don't want you to be scared. If he comes back. Uh, this is meant to be a safe environment for everybody. Zip it. <laughs> okay, so you've got these this mash right here, right? Everything's incorporated. I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, probably I should be freezing this for a bit. I should be taking them out, putting them on something, freezing them because next I want to put a little crumb coating on them. And the only thing I had, remember I said this was definitely an experiment. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come here, buddy, come here, come here, come here, come here. He's back. Come on, big boy. No, oh, shit, I missed him. Oh, no, he's running. He's getting back up. <laughs> yeah, he's getting come with 10 of them. He's coming back. <laughs> so uh, I want to make them crispy. <laughs> I've got cornflakes. I don't have panko or anything like that here, so. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna try and see if this is possible to put a wet spoonful of this in here and get it in a hot pan with some oil. I'm feeling good about this. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good, so. Ah, oh, he's back. Where is he? He's behind you. Come on, buddy. Oh, no, now he's over there. Come. Oh, right in front of your face. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, it's unbelievable now. Oh, God, all right. Well, <laughs> you scared him. He booked it. You both oh, are. No, he's coming back. He's 
come back. You what both are scared hell? of each other. What is wrong with him? He's blind. He can't help it. It's like a little bird flying around. All right, so here's what we do. We take our cornflakes. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm going to put them right here. Remember when I was talking about freezing them? You were talking about doing we started and whole. You were like, why would we freeze them? What does that have anything to do with No, no, anything? no. You had a whole different concept. I was saying freeze the mask shh, also. Shh, 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 shh. You just, just be quiet over there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to have to do them one at a time, but it's right there. It's like a little blob. Perfect. All right, uh, let's go to the other side. My pan should be getting hot and we should be ready to do this. That's going to be great. Here we go with our first one. I've got it on this spoon and oh, maybe my oil's not hot enough. That's okay. We're going to be fine. It's starting to sizzle. Look, I just like the idea of this being different, you know? I'm feeling good about this. Let's get one more going here, shall we? Beth wanted to know if you were okay. Did she need to come out and save you from a flying bug? All right, so here's the plan. Get them crispy. It's pretty simple. Had I mashed them, put them on parchment paper, put them in the freezer so they got firm, and then brought them out here and then fried them, yes. That might have been a tad easier, but this is not problematic for me at all. And I saved a whole bunch of steps and time. So kiss my ass, Max. So should we let them do their thing? Yeah, I got an idea. Why don't you fuck off and let these do their thing? How's that? All right, I think we can flip these guys. Check the kid in the middle. Oh, hear that? Damn, this is what I wanted. I did not want mushy banana. So maybe this is not exactly what the king would have done, but honestly, I think you would have been very happy. See my little banana fritters frying all the time. Once they're golden and crispy, I'll go do some All right, so once these guys are crispy on the bottom side, out they come, we put them on paper towels, and we're building. This is gonna be fucking great in this thing. Suck my All right, the kids are there, let's take them out. Gorgeous. On paper towels, everybody. Everybody. And this one. The right thing to do is take these, put them in about a 250 oven, let them stay warm, stay crispy, to when we need them. You be careful, man. If he dive bombs you, you're dropping your camera and running. He's just sitting up there, I think. All right, f it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, go. I will shoot him. Why are you not scared that thing's gonna fly right up in your face? And here we go. Two perfectly grilled pieces of bread. Little butter on the flat top, both sides. Gorgeous. This looks like store-bought peanut butter, doesn't it? No, it's not, ladies and gentlemen. We just put this in a deli container, which, by the way, I've extolled the virtues of this particular type of deli container. You can buy them online. There's only one lid that goes with all of them. They stack. They're perfect. So we need a decent amount. Like, how much peanut butter would all of us want? I think a good amount. You don't want to skimp. You do not want to skimp. You don't skimp. skimp on the king? You don't skip on the king. No, you do not. So let's just do this. Oh boy. I think this is good. Beautiful. It's bleeding beautiful. And now we're ready for this. Check out that bacon. What do you notice? What? Let me rephrase that. What's missing? Grease. There's not that grease that's, that's sitting on it. Thickly. Oh yeah. Now you're talking, buddy. This is everything you're supposed to be. Goodness gracious. And now these guys, let's do this. We're going to use three. We'll get one here. We'll get one here. We'll get this guy back here like that. And this goes away. Then you take this. Those are amazing. And you do that and then you turn it. So it faces Max just like that, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't nothing but a sandwich that I'll be eating all the time. How beautiful is that? Damn it. All right. So here's the deal. Once it looks like this, you got nothing to do but eat. And I'm telling you, the upgrade of the fritters and the bacon and the peanut butter, your own version, is what this is all about. Now we cut it in half. We look, oh, look at that. I don't think anybody would know what they were looking at just from that, right? Now let's have a bite. Oh my God. Okay, before I do, I just have to yank one of the pieces of fritter. I could eat that, but now I'll eat this. All right. 
Everything is good. Everything is good. The king wasn't crazy. I love my sandwich oh so much. I'll eat it every day. Yum, you gotta do this. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for putting up with my horrible Elvis Presley impression. It's not even worth calling an impression, is it? No. Come on, a little love from my own son. Chance, how was it? I think if the cooking guy thing doesn't work out, maybe you've got a side Elvis impersonation. What he said. Going. Max, take a, a page out of Chancey's book. He knows how to suck up. All right, thanks you guys. Shop SDC. G.com. There's all kinds of merchandise there. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love that you're here. Don't eat the same thing all the time. And whatever you do, do not eat shitty food. Life's too short. I'm 100% serious. Way too short. Okay, everyone, it's time for another garlic uh, press giveaway. And well, we're doing it a little differently because I can't be there, but we got to figure it out. In this a wine glass are all the remaining numbers. And for example, look, this is not the real one, but I'm just showing you that every one will have a number on it. So nobody thinks I'm cheating. Number five is still remaining. Right. That was random. I'm going to do this and take a sip. And whichever one is left, whichever one is in my mouth will be the winner like this. <clears throat> This guy. And the lucky winner today will get number number eight. And number eight is going to, I can't say the last name, but the first name is, I think, uh, pronounced Yuld. And Yuld says, would love to be the only South African with an STCG garlic crusher. Love watching the show. Love trying the recipes. Much love. Yield, you're so welcome, and we will be happy to send this to you. So reach out to us, info the cookingguy.com. We'll figure out that you're you, and you'll get number eight. And I've been corrected. It's it's not embossed. It's etched. It's etched. Embossed would mean like you put color on that could come off. This is etched. It's not coming off. Congratulations, Yule. All right, everybody. See ya.